Ask Walt about this collection. Secret door! Jesus Christ! Uh... Hey! I was just... I was just... Well, welcome back everybody, it's me, GSD. And I'm back again with some more indie game goodness. I'm playing Penny Blue Finds a Clue, Murder at La Fleur du Chapiteau. Uh, Chapiteau. My, my French is rusty. Chapiteau or Chateau? That looks like a Chateau to me, but correct me if I'm wrong, I'm probably wrong. Anyway. Students at DigiPen done did it again. This looks right up my alley. I I'm really I'm really partial to cut and paste like you know kind of like the paper cut animation style art style. So I really wanted to try this out. I haven't been steered wrong with a DigiPen game yet. I always find that the games that the students create are extremely impressive. So this game is about the famous tween detective Penny Blue. She has taken us, her babysitter, under her wing as an apprentice to solve a murder mystery. Penny is gutsy and loves action and intrigue, but she is not the brightest and is easily annoyed by hard work. That is where we come in, as the brains of the operation. This sounds like an Inspector Gadget type of deal, except backwards. Anyway, I'm getting into it. Controls... Seems pretty... Easy to understand. Uh huh. Pull over, pull over! Le Fleur du Chapiteau Hotel? Sounds lavish. That was obvious. Be right back. Just gonna use the bathroom. Maybe grab a big glug. Take a quick look around and then. Penny, I know what you're doing. We have a party to be at. Uh... I said I'll be quick! Don't worry, your big head over it. If we're late to the party boys' mansion, we'll make a bad impression. Uh huh. Me, Penny Blue, world renowned tween detective, make a bad impression? Ha! You worry too much. It'll be fine. If I'm not back in five minutes, come and get me. <sighs> Great. I have an awful feeling about this. That was obvious. Yeah, this is pretty obvious. Five minutes later? Why are you saying that? With asterisks, this is this is. <laughs> Penny, w what is that? A body? Uh... Indeed, it is, and he seems to have been a critic of some sort of judging by his business card. Mort Beans, critique extraordinaire. Where'd you get that? Uh huh. His wallet, of course. What do you think? No, no, we're leaving. Let's just police on our way there. Let's just police on our way there. Call the police on the way there? That was obvious. But your cell phone is dead. We'll call them when we get to the mansion. What? But the bridge is out. No, it's not. Go on. Your tires are slashed. No, they're not. Uh... Not yet. Penny. Uh huh. Come on. Imagine the look on their faces when you show up fashionably late after solving a murder. I'll even let you lead this one. No, not again. I'm getting paid to babysit and that's it. What? I'll even throw in the free detective lesson. Penny, I'm counting to three. One. Two. Uh... Don't be chicken. The party boys will be so impressed. Besides, it'll be fun. I'll be here if you need me and my giant gorgeous hard-boiled detective brain. Oh my goodness. If I solve the case, will you let us go? Go on. Yes. Penny Blue's on the case. I feel like I've somehow played myself. Oh well, better sort this so quick. Talk to people in the log- Oh my goodness. This is a student project? How the hell, man? Again. Hey. Let's chat. Well. Hmm. Are you a guest here? I didn't see you check in. No, I'm a detective on the recent murder. All right. Well, I suppose someone had to show up about that. Actually, we just kind of happened across this. <laughs> Sucks. Wait, who's we? Yeah, Penny with Penny's with me. 
whatever. Just don't overstay your welcome, and make sure the kid doesn't break anything. I don't exactly want to be here either. Let's leave. Yeah. This is... Wow. This is cool. Oh, we can expect. Expect. Wait. Are these hands painted on? No wonder it feels like time is standing still. Inspect. Oh. Let's see, can we s Ooh. La fleur du chapiteau. The flower of what? Chapiteau? The flower of something. This is like hat and... I don't know. House? Hat house? Tent? Ooh, no. 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 Mmm. Alright. It's a wintry night, I guess. I'm gonna put on my hard-boiled voice for this. Penny. What? Uh, why are you still here? You should be investigating, rookie. Penny, I'm older than you. Uh-huh. Whatever lets you sleep at night. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's the body. I tried to inspect it, but I can't get to- Oh, there we go. So this is the critic. Ouch. Blunt trauma. Nicely dressed, though. Hmm. Okay. Continuing on. Oh, what's this? The- Was it a gramophone? Or are they called gramophones? This music is great. It's probably the reason Penny won't leave the room. What time period are we in? She looks pretty modern. She's wearing sunglasses. Got a nice blue hair tint on there. Couple piercings in the ear. Why are we listening to gramophone music? Oh, what? Looks like a knife up there. Well, I found the murder weapon. I just need to figure out how to get there. These are some good hand-drawn stills. These are pretty cool. I like that fire. This this is the face of a man who's never smiled. This is the face of a kid that's never going to smile. And she's always smiling. And... Inspect. They don't look too happy together. I'd even go so far as to say that the boy looks terrified. Were you the... Oh, wait. I can't... Where, what color is the kid wearing? It's blue. So are you the critic or the old guy the critic? Let's continue on with the journey. Oh, and maybe it's the kid that did. Hey, old guy. All right. Mm, greetings. Welcome to the Fleur de Chapiteau Hotel. I am Walt, the owner. The sign-in desk is over there. I'm not here to rent a room, actually. Yes. Hmm, yes, I see. Then why might you be here? I'm here investigating the murder. Ah, uh, yes. Well, I suppose that is fairly important. Yeah, it is. Is it alright if we conduct our investigation? Hmm. Hmm. That is fine, but please do not stay too long. I have a business to run, and this isn't a charity. I'd prefer this not take that long. Good luck, and uh, make sure none of my other guests are murdered. Oh, you have an accent. I'm sorry. I didn't get that. Yep. It's Plant. Keep your nose clean, Plant. Penny says that she heard a rumor that there is a secret passage hidden behind the fountain. I say that she's gullible. Maybe we should... Oh. Wait, no. I'm trying to click stuff. Hello, Plant. Do you know who the killer is? No? You sure? You're saying that I should stop talking to a plant because people are staring? Okay, then. Bye. Uh, we can go upstairs. We can go... What the... Oh, it's a maid. I thought it was a dog for a second. Hello, lady. How you doing? Whoever this is, she jumps in surprise as you approach her. Hello, have you seen anything suspicious? We'll be polite. Sorry to bother you. She waves goodbye. Oh, I mean, uh, hey. Do you see anything suspicious? Oh! What? Review notes. Miss Betty, jazz singer, terrible. Negative 25 out of 10? Dang! Help. 
Can't really read this stuff. Please make it stop. Nails on a chalkboard. Got him. She nods quickly and hands you a piece of paper. Oh, thank you. Thanks. I can use this. Ask Betty about the review. That was easy, thanks, lady. Was this? Ballerina? Tight rope rocker? Walking through life. Walking through life is the title. The artist must have lived a pretty tense life. E inspect? Oh, we could have read it cl okay. The dead critic must have written this about last night's show. I should find this Ms. Betty person and question her. Alright. It's a big ass place. It's a kid. It's a light. It's a carpet. Long rug. Oh! This must be the owner's ancestor. They sure look a lot alike. You Betty. Oh no, your vow. Oh, we could have talked more. Okay. Tell me about yourself. I just work here. Pays pretty good, I guess. Apparently nowhere near enough now, though. Sometimes there's a circus around here. Bunch of clowns running around. How long have you been working here? Where else have you worked? Private law enforcement. Mostly classified stuff. Oh, that's cool, I guess. It's pretty cool. We done here. Hmm. What do you think about the murder? I just wish it had happened on my day off. Who do you think done it? Well, he fell asleep during Betty's performance last night, so it could have been her or her boyfriend, Zeke. The maid found the body, so anything could have happened there. Oh, and some annoying guy called Terry Crisp showed up the night before it happened. That's all I can think of. Terry Crisp? Some hopeless salesman who got caught up in this mess. He's in the lounge trying to sell his cure-all tonic. If that stuff does anything but give you an upset stomach, then I'll eat my sunglasses. Got it. Uh, tell me about... Rosalita. She's the maid. She found the body last night. She doesn't say much of anything, really. Wait, why? Because she's a mime? Oh, is that why she has the makeup on? Okay, that's not exactly common. We done here? No! Tell me about Walt! He's pretty cold, and can be a bit stiff. I guess he's been through a lot, you know, raising his son after his wife died. His son Zeke's a total loser. He still lives here in the hotel, like a loser. I'm pretty sure he's over 20. Oh my. We done here? No! Tell me about... more. Penny Blue. Penny who? Is that a band name? I'll have to remember that one. Tell me more about Moore and the Critic. Heh, <laughs> that guy? Heh, <laughs> that guy. Rosalita found his body last night. Well, found. She can't really call the police, so I did it when I got in this morning. They're still on their way. Can't really say I'm surprised that someone did him in. No one really liked him. That's suspicious. That's a suspicious thing to say. Calm down. I'm only joking, but really no one liked him. That's really sad. We done here? No! Tell me about... Oh. That's everybody. Zeke? He and Betty have already broken up and gotten back together about five times this week. And it's only Tuesday. If I have to hear you're tearing me apart, Betty, one more time. We might have another murder on our hands. Okay. We done here? What do you think about when did it happen? Last night? I don't know when. Cool, thanks. Leave. Wait. There was other options, wasn't there? What kid? Ah, yeah, yeah. There's more stuff here. What do you make of this? Yeah, I saw this coming. The critic was asleep through half of Betty's performance. Oh yeah, and she's terrible. Huh, I see. Well, thanks. Whatever, kid. I don't take kindly to you call me kid. Plant. Is this a fern or a ficus? 
It's neither. I think. That ain't no fern. I don't see the point. How can I help you? What do you think about the murder? Ah, yes. uh, that. You get used to it after the first time. I'm not gonna do an, an accent because it's gonna be fucking horrible and probably offensive. Ah, <laughs> uh, that. You get used to it after the first time. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. First time! This has happened before. Go on. If I... If it did, it's long since been cleared up. I'm starting to think you did it. All right. It's pretty foolish to walk up to the person you're suspecting and say you figured it out. Second of all, why would I do this to a customer? Hmm. All right. I don't see the point. What do you think about the murder? Yes. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Anything else? Tell me about right. yourself. Hmm? Ah, a detective and a shrink, I see. What do you do here? I don't see the point. I see the point, and I'll let you know when it makes sense or not. I'm the owner of this hotel. I don't tolerate any sort of clowning around. Yes. I've lived here with my son for many years. Too many. Son. Zeke, that boy could have been a concert pianist, but instead he wastes time with the girl Betty. Betty. All right. Her music isn't very good. All right then. Tell me about I don't see the point. Val. Who? Oh, I guess she does her job. She's like the son I never had. All right. Yes. Tell me about right. Rosalita. I don't see the point. I've known her since college. She's a faithful employee and a good friend. Even if she talks too much for my taste, I would trust her with anything. Wow. Uh, did you did anything happen between you two? Our past is none of your concern. Just know that she wouldn't have done it. There's no way. All right. Tell me about more. Tell me about Penny. Penny? Wait, why is that child standing in the lobby unattended? Where are her parents? This is irresponsible. Best if she didn't hear that. Mm. Huh. Right. Tell me about Zeke. I don't see the point. Zeke? That boy could have been a concert pi Oh, wait, we are- what? Okay, ouch. Do we talk- okay, well, let's get out of here. That's all. all. Right. Wait, no, we gotta talk about the review. Hey. Tell me about the review. Yes. Positively scathing. I'm not surprised. After all, the critic did fall asleep during the performance. It couldn't have been that bad, could it? She's not very good, trust me. Seems harsh, but okay, thanks. All right. Hmm. Goodbye, small person. Make sure the child does not destroy anything. Yugi boy, make sure that you I'm channeling my inner Pegasus. Hey, I got- wait, 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 wait. There's stuff down there. Don't want to go down there, you just- ooh. Zeke's life. Zeke's still life. Age eight. An eight-year-old painted this? What am I doing with my life? Hmm. I should move these cards without permission. Hmm. You! Nothing for now, thanks. Keep your nose clean. Black tie only. Black tie only. Find a bow tie. Well, dang! Well, first, let's show her the, uh, the thing. Hey! Go on. What's the scoop? Do you happen to have a black tie with you? Uh... Oh, fresh out. What? But hey, there must be a tie store or There must be a tie store around here somewhere. Right? Maybe. But we can't even leave the hotel, Penny. There's stores that sell only ties. Go on. Of course. What planet are you from? Uh. You're going somewhere? Give me more clues. Hey. Take this clue. I have it in my hand. What's the scoop? Go on. Uh. Uh. Maybe, but we can't leave the hotel. What you need is a distraction. Uh huh. Here's the plan. 
I'll roll a nickel toward that creepy guy and the cool-looking girl over there. No one can resist free nickels. When they dogpile on top of it, I'll drop the chandelier on them. Uh, uh, Penny. That was obvious. Meanwhile, you'll pull vault over top with a witty one-liner, of course. Smash through the window and take off down the street. Go on. They won't even know what hit him. Sounds good? Uh, I, I don't really think a tie is worth all that. I think you watch too many cartoons. Uh-huh. Fine, if you want to go the boring route. Uh... Have you tried looking around for a tie? That was obvious. She pro- someone probably has one, especially if they're old and snappily dressed. You want me to steal someone's stuff? You don't have to be old to wear a bow tie. What? Oh, sorry. Don't worry. You're not old. Well, not that old. Go on. Goodbye. Uh... I'm done with- Hey! A clue! What? How did I not see this? What does it say? Hi. I'm your biggest fan. I would love to meet up in the lobby at 2 a.m. to get your autograph. Hmm. <laughs> this seems suspicious. Can I take it? I can't take it? I can't- Oh, I guess I can't take it. E. Question this Miss Betty person. Ah, what a pretty floral arrangement. I bet someone spent a lot of time and money on this. Uh, we got clues to find. Penny Blue's clues. Oh, I get it. I get it now. Blue's clues. Ah uh, ha 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 ha. That place is blocked. Hmm. What is this? Ah, yeah, this is thing. That's him. Zeke. Hate six. They must really like this portrait. I think I saw it by the stairs as well. Hmm. A doctor. Dr. Wally Spadol. Count Wallace Spadol. Spady the unfunny. Spat Spady the unfunny. Huh. Pappy Spadol. Duke Wallace de Spadol. Does the kid look anything like them? No. Not really. You lucked out, kid. Uh, what's this? Janitor's closet. I wonder if I can get in here somehow. There might be a clue. Well, open the dang door! Uh, I guess we can't. Is that a deer at the side of the lake? How did the painter get it to stick around long enough to paint it? Hmm. Castle. Wow, what a spooky castle. What is that sound? Lonely Home by Walt Spadool. Isn't that the proprietor? Hmm. Let's see here. Cautiously? What? This C okay, EpiPoke. Oh, EpiPens. For use in case of exposure to garlic. Should probably leave this here where Walt can find it. You know what? I kind of thought that Walt looked like a vampire. Oh, I'm solving the mystery already. These are all the same person. He's a vampire. Solve that mystery. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, it's like he's got a Count Dracula ass look going on. Who dat? Why is it that the sharpest plants are always the ones I want to touch? No, don't do it. Don't do it, me. Ouch. Happy now. Clock. Hickory Dickory Dock. Is the killer who I thought? Heh. <laughs> I really forced that rhyme. He's still there. Books. Hidden passage construction techniques. Avoiding questions. The Fort and Trime story? Had to keep a secret from everyone. Nothing suspicious about this bookshelf. I take a closer look. Can't really read them. No secrets. No secret passage. No secret button. Hmm. Not a diary, Diary Co. What's this? June 1st. Zeke hasn't stopped painting since I told him I was proud of his still life. I will never praise him again. I think that's enough of that. Poor kid. Hmm. Pocket Squares Monthly. He's got volumes. I th 
He's got volumes 1 through 283, but is missing number 84. Too bad. That was the best issue. Power cell? Hmm. Battery powered. That's a strange choice. Can we get around here? Inspect this. Garlic free co He's a vampire! Feast for fangs and bitten neck eternal life? Walt must be really into vampires. Walt a vamp! Walt is a vamp! Hit that. No. Let's see here. Inspect this shit. Hmm. Yeah, that is strange. Weird mouse. Oh, weird keyboard. Penny Blue finds a clue. The official strategy guide by Lauren Stutzrim. Stutzrim? Stutzrim? Stutzrim. What's up with the meta humor? Hmm. That's Walt, I think. But who's that? That kid don't look happy. This is the owner and his family. They look cute together. He, how is he having kids? Can vampires have kids? They're undead. The fire is so warm. I just want to sit down and take a nap. Ooh, clue. Ah, oh, what a cute little teddy bear. I bet Walt cuddles it in his sleep. Wait, what? Oh my god, why is this not suspicious to you? It's a friggin' coffin! Are you talking about the teddy bear? Does Walt sleep in here? No wonder he's such a stiff. Okay. Alright. Ooh, a hand in a blanket. How nice. Very nice. Uh, nothing else. Nothing behind here. Wait. We'll do it your way, Penny Blue. There's nothing on this couch. Ah, jeez. Uh, hey. Uh huh. What's the scoop? That yep. Is yep. Go yep. On. Yep. Uh -huh. Yep. What? Yep. Go on. Right. Bye. Uh huh. No, that's not. Wait. Hold that up. That was obvious. What's the scoop? Do you have a note? Uh, mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That was obvious. Mm -hmm. What? Uh. Fine. If you want to. Oh, I pressed the wrong one. You want me to steal someone's stuff? What? Whoa, who said anything about stealing? What's wrong with you? Why not just ask for it? Duh. What is wrong with me? That was obvious. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone you said that. Uh huh. Give me more clues. I mean, you're a snazzy dresser. Do you have a blo blo uh, no, bow tie for me? How can I help you? No, no, no. Dang. I need a bow tie, brother. Can you give me a bow tie? I need a bow tie. You are pretty snazzy dressed too. That's all, thanks. Let's just go in. Still need that tie. Damn! Where the hell did I get a tie around here? You? Do you have a t Oh! That's kind of grim. I don't know if I should feel bad about this. Equip it! Oh, inspect it. I have no idea how to tie this tie. Hey, do you know how to tie a tie? What's the scoop? Penny, could you tie this for me? What? Nice bow tie. Swanky. You're not going to a party without me, are you? No, just the lounge. Can you tie it? Uh-huh. A good detective can tie their own tie, dude. Uh... But since you're new to this biz, I'll do it this one time. You'll just owe me another milkshake. Cool. Uh... And now we're in a tie and I can do stuff. That's kind of gruesome and grim. Alright. Let me... Take a look around here once more. You're a vampire. You have to be. Maybe she is too. Maybe you're like hiding all the vampireness with the the makeup. I don't know. Maybe not. One of y'all's is a vampire. Not you. You. Wait. Was that face? Yo, you're sauced up. Terry's cure all tonic. Gary offered me this sample for free, but I don't have anything to put it on right now. Wait, what does it say? Contains garlic, do not consume. I'ma throw it at you! 
I, I've figured out the milk, the, the mystery. Shake O Matic. Gimme. Gotta have money to get a milkshake. Men's. I don't need to use the restroom right now. Hello. Who are you? Ms. Betty. Do I know you? And for the love of will someone fix that speaker? You must be Ms. Betty. Okay. Investigate the speaker. The one and only, and who might you be, twerp? I'm the acting detective on the murder case. What? Uh, welcome, Mr. Detective. You missed my wonderful show last night. Instead, you get to watch Planet of the Apes, starring Zeke Spadool. Zeke Spadool? Mm-hmm. The good-for-nothing spending his life savings guzzling milkshakes down his throat. Ugh! Just looking at him makes me angry. You seem awfully invested in this guy. Do I know you? I am not! We are no longer dating. Not after what he said to me. She's super animated. Right. Sure. What now? Mind your own business, kid. Now get lost, will you? I have a few questions about the murder. I have a feeling she's gonna be a pain to deal with. Okay. Oh great. Just what I need to round out my awful day. Do you have any comment on the case. What else happened today? What? Why don't you go ask that pathetic excuse for a man drinking his ninth milkshake of the day? We're done talking. At least tell me what you know about the murder. So what? Oh, I don't know. Someone probably had a beef with him. Do you know anyone who might? Yeah. Do I look like a detective to you? Sure. Mm -hmm. Really? Well, I am rather smart. Thanks for noticing. Anyways, I don't know. Sorry, detective. Thanks, anyways. Talk to you later. Gotta butter them up to get the information you want. Uh, I can't see any of this. Those don't look like milkshakes, though. How many milkshakes have you had? What now? What else you gotta say to me? Do I know you? Find out who's bugging Betty. Oh, why are you handing me your garbage? Throw that away yourself. What? No, this is for you. Okay. Not listening. I've got my own problems to deal with, bub. Well, I'll be right back, I guess. Why don't you make yourself useful and fix the speaker? What? What? What do you make of this? Mm -hmm. Find out who's bugging Betty. Okay. What now? That's great. Well, you must be you know where to find me. Fix the speaker. Look at all these milkshakes. Inspect. I should give this to Betty. Then she'll view better. But I can't take it while Zeke is here. I need another milkshake. Oh, woe is me. Life is nothing but a spiral of downwards emotions. What is life but pain? You all right there? I suppose. I don't remember the last time I've been all right. Oh. Well, what's your name? Oh, Betty. I'm Zeke. I guess... I'm Zeke, I guess. I'll always just be Zeke. Pathetic old Zeke. Oh, come on. I'm sure you're not that bad. Oh, I used to be boy. Zeke, Betty's boyfriend. But even that's gone now. Betty's the one over there. Why didn't... Why did she break up with you? Okay. Because I'm useless. Hey, can I ask you... I'm here about the murder. I don't know. Oh, right. Uh, that's too bad. Um, yeah. How were you not made aware by now? What now? Nothing matters anymore. Not since Betty hates me. Can I ask a few questions about her? Why? Well, make it quick. I'm supposed to be upset with her. What does she do? I need another milkshake. You haven't heard of Ms. Betty? She's only the bestest, most beautiful singer in the world. This review says otherwise. Mm-hmm. Did that critic write this? Figures. He did fall asleep during her performance last night. I don't miss him so much anymore. Well, you know he was murdered, right? I suppose. Right, sorry. Respect for the dead or whatever. Yeah. Do you still need me? Yeah, yeah, I do. Hey, I need I don't to know. You take it easy. I just have a few questions. Why? You've been eyeing her kid? You better stay away, or I'll. I'll shout at you! Take it easy. What now? We'll make it quick. I'm supposed to be upset with her. What's your relationship to her, if I may ask? 
What? I do anything for her. She just doesn't appreciate the lengths I'd go to for her. Anything you say? Oh, Betty. If she asked me to, I'd do anything at all. Like, say, kill a man. Why? She told me to. Hey, wait! Neither of us were involved in that. Ah! Gotcha! I need another milkshake. Why would either of us kill someone? This right here is all I need. Uh. Did that critic write this? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, I'm gonna go now. I suppose. If you ever want to talk to me again, you know where I'll be. Okay. <laughs> hey, can I ask a few questions about Betty? What now? But you won't. Oh. You're right. Oh, what's the. Point? I'm here about the murder. I need another milkshake. Oh, right, that's too bad. Where were you last night? Mm -hmm. We didn't do it. I'm not accusing you of anything. I never mentioned an it that was done. Why? I, we, I'm done talking now. No, no you're not. What is it? Okay. I've been sworn to secrecy. I will, I will say no more. You realize how suspicious this sounds. I don't know. He covers his mouth. Okay, fine. What now? I'm here about the murder. Where were you oh, last night? Eddie. I never mentioned I it. Milkshake. Nope. Why? Suspish. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Wait. Murder? What Last night. Uh, it. Yeah. Betty. Mary Willett. Okay. Why? Moiter. I mean, uh, I don't know. Sorry to hear that. What's the point? Never mind. I suppose. Uh, no, just, just never mind. I gotta ask about the letter. What now? It's not giving me the... What is that letter in front of you? Okay. Hmm? Oh, this? It's just... Uh, I think I'll need another milkshake for this one. Really? Fine, I'll bring you a milkshake. Mm -hmm. Okay, goodbye. Wait, would you... Uh, never mind. Be, uh, be, uh, mm. I'm gonna get you a milkshake. I'm not doing that. I'll bring that boy to the yard. Of milkshakeness. Doesn't really make sense, but whatever. Inspect. I can practically hear the music coming from her sax. So smooth. Wait, isn't that the the bodyguard? Or the the security? I can practically hear the music coming from her side. Oh, you're saying the same thing about this in a different picture. Singer. Okay, that's there's no saxophone in either of those. But hey. <laughs> Socks with sandals? Really? Yeah. Uh, let me inspect the stage. What did, oh, I gotta fix that. Don't, not doing that yet. I gotta talk to the other dude. Inspect that. Wow. A legendary mini grand. Their piano player is one lucky guy. Mm, backstage. I can't go back there. I can't go back here without being a performer. Too bad I left my flute at home. I'm still carrying this review. I don't need to use the restroom right now. I gotta get money to get the milkshake so I can get this guy's letter to give to this lady here. Hey, man. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> hey, kid. You to sample my tannic? What do you think of this? I gotcha. Hey. <laughs> Funny stuff. But it does make you think, doesn't it? The guy who wrote this is dead now. Oh. Huh? If you ever want to sample that tonic, just feel free. You're mm. alright, kid. I'll see you later. What else you got? What do you think you of this? That, you know, my tonic is 20% Hawaiian ash. What? <laughs> okay, let's fix this speaker. Man, if only I had a screwdriver, I could fix this. Okay, so let's get a screwdriver, and so we can fix the screen, so she will be more easy to talk to. Give me the money. Jeez, this is old. Give me the money. 50 cents? That's it? What'll it be? Do I know you? Leave. Find out who's, bu who's bugging Betty. We'll find out. Ooh. The number of bottles here is staggering. They even have some awesome drinks on tap. Uh, how old are you? I mean, the voice indicates that you're a little old, but... I need money to get a milkshake. 
Find money, find a screwdriver, find everything. I gotta do everything myself now, don't I? Let's go and find some stuff to fix that thing and fix that guy's broken heart. Oh, you moved. Is there a pathway open yet? No? Hey, I need a screwdriver. Nothing for now. Need a screwdriver. Gotta get a screwdriver, gotta get money. What's up? Hey, do you have ten dollars by any chance? That was obvious. Sorry, I'm all out. Spend my last one on a milkshake. Wait, a milkshake? Could I have it? Uh... Get your own! This is my milkshake. Oh. Sorry. Uh-huh. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <sighs> what a brat. I'm here doing all the work. And you're making me... Get my own damn milkshake. Oh! Can we get money from the fountain? Penny says that. Actually, can I borrow some money? Right. Well, the good news for you is that not only am I a salesman, I'm also a loan shark. Here you go, kid. Come back if you need more. And remember, interest is compounded. Daily. Thank you. Finally, somebody generous up in this bee. Even though you're a little sleazy. Yeah, I'm in for that to run. Ten bucks. This better be a good shake. Uh... Q? These milkshakes look surprisingly good. Considering that terrifying machine. Wish they had mix-ins, though. Hmm. I brought you. I came to the yard to give you the milkshake. Oh, woe is me. Oh, it was me. Here's your milkshake. I need another milkshake. Thanks. That's the kindest thing anyone's ever done for me. I'll tell you what this paper is. I don't know. It's actually a love letter. I suppose. I've been working on it for a few days now, and I just... I just want to make things right between Betty and me. Oh, but I can't point. work up the courage to give it to her. Not after our big fight. I can do it for you. You should do it. Why? What? Are you crazy? I can't do that. I'm supposed to be mad at her. It might fix your relationship. Uh. As if she might just laugh at me all day. I need to find a way to get that letter from him. What now? Get Zeke to leave somehow. Do you still need me? Uh, hey. Can, uh, oh, okay. how? I need another milkshake. How the hell do I get? <laughs> hey. Oh, Betty. What was me? I can give you. Are you gonna give her that letter? I don't know. I need another milk. Why? Okay, never mind. I'll Why? make you leave so but I can take if that. If you see Betty, you tell her. I... Never mind. Hey, Betty, get this man out of here. What? Uh, you know how. Why don't you? Fine, was bugging Betty. So now we got a new quest. Hey, what's bugging what? Betty? What's the scoop? Thanks for doing that for me. Uh. No problemo. I'm here to help with anything at all, unless it's stupid, obviously. That was obvious. <laughs> oh, maybe we'll get him... We keep giving him milkshakes. He needs to go to the bathroom, right? Well, the good news for you is that not only am I a salesman, blah, blah, blah. Thanks, man. <laughs> See you later, sport. Give me another milkshake. Ten bucks. Hey, have another one. I need another milkshake. Got you another shake. Oh, okay. Thanks, I needed that. No, just, just never mind. Why? Don't you need to go to the bathroom? Oh, what's the... Wait, would you... Uh, never mind. I don't know. What? I need another milkshake. He says he needs another milkshake. You got that right. I gotcha. Alright. Nice notepad, kid. If I give this to Zeke, I could probably get that letter. It's for his own good. Wait. Wait. Hey. I suppose. Got you another shake? I need another milkshake. Uh... Okay. Goodbye. What a nasty... What a nasty tonic? Nasty tonic? Oh, Betty. Okay. If you ever want to talk to me again... You know where I'll be, as usual. Uh, How do I give this to you? I, uh, no, just, just never mind. Q, what a nasty tonic. Do I have to put it in like a milkshake? Need money for a milkshake. Hey, thirty bucks. 
<laughs> You're all right, kid. What? Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I, I think I fucked this up. Let's just restart this. Try my time on the flip. See? Damn it, man. Combine that shit. If I give this to Zeke, I could probably get that letter. It's for his own good. That's a gross ass milkshake. See, you just put the damn bottle in my hand. I couldn't get the milkshake before. I couldn't get the money. You slick haired bastard. Hey, get the frig out of here. Woe is me. Here, drink this milkshake. Yeah. Why? Thanks, I needed that. Uh, uh, oh, uh, mm, I don't feel well. Excuse me. Time to get that letter. Give it to me. Finally! Maybe now Betty will be a little more cooperative. Betty. Take okay. it. It's yours. What now? Zeke wanted you to have this. So what? Oh my. I, I didn't realize he felt this way. I think I've been an awful person. It's time I turn a new leaf. That's nice. Now can you please look at this? Do I know you? Where did you get this? Rosalita gave it to me. Yeah? That jerk. Can't you see she's trying to frame me? Come to think of it, she was out in the bout for some reason late last night. Suspicious. What? And just look at her, standing on one leg for so long. Creepy much? It's gotta be her. I'll go investigate that. Okay. Good luck. Talk to you Confront later. Rosalita. How the hell do I fix this uh, speaker? Man, I've only had a screwdriver to fix it. Zeke, you in there? You okay in there? Don't need to use it. Oh, we finally got rid of the note too. Thank God. Go on. Betty said Rosalita might have done it. That was obvious. I knew it was her. It's a bit early to say that. What? Oh, well, you should still go investigate, you know? Yeah. I'll do that. This is still a clue. I don't know why nobody's looking at that thing. Rosalita. Hey, yeah, you are staying on one leg for quite a long time. Rosalita. Greets you with a big smile, but frowns when she notices the look on your face. I've got reason to believe you killed the critic. People think you did it. Do you know why that might be? She shrugs and points to her door, giving you permission to search her room. I'll try not to stay in there too long. Investigate Rosalita's room. May, uh, what? That's not the room! The room is in here. Uh, it's quaint, I guess? A cool little flower. Dental hygiene is very important. Keeps the arranged brain surgeons away. Maybe I should ask this dapper detective for help. Oh, wait. It's just me. Is there a screwdriver? Ooh, give it to me. Lots of sheets. You should ask Rosalita for some folding tips. Tips. My attempts always end up with a giant pile on the floor. End up is one word, I guess. Inspect. It must take a lot of soap to clean this whole building. Does Rosalita clean it alone? A door. This is a door. Stare at door. Still a door. Hey, hey there. Open. Hey there, detective. You're looking handsome today. Thanks, door. And now I'm talking to a door. What's got you down, kid? This is a hard case, you know. Well, all you have to do is try harder. Remember the fundamentals. Always question everything. Thanks, door. Wow. Wow. Talking to a door has been more inspiring than talking to my investigation partner. How do we get this far? Yeah, all right, kid. Keep your nose clean and keep investigating. These slippers are so cute. I can picture Rosalita skipping down the halls, her bunny slippers hopping along. Hmm. Uh, flashlight and... Wait. What? Hey, that's Rosalita. And Walt? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's... 
Calado, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Our Lady of Healing University. Uh oh! It's, wait, she's not a vampire. He's a vampire. I've been wondering what day it is. It sure is good to know. Mm, what else? This must be Rosalie's formal wear. It looks the same as her work clothes. Bucket. I should call my friend Needy Netty Beak. She could fix this leak. Flashlight. So, Rosalita's kid was Walt's not the kid in there. Wait, what? did this have an inspection? This had. Is this drawn with crayon? No way, this is legal. Hmm. Inspect. No batteries. I know where to get batteries. Hey! Thanks for opening the door. Hmm. I see batteries over here. Batteries. Come on! These should fit in the flashlight. Cool. Hey, stop shining that in my face! You're getting way too in character with the whole bad cop thing. What? Oh, sorry. Go on. I forgive you. Now get searching! Uh... Hmm. Still body. Hey! Hey, can you not shine that in my face? Sorry, thanks. I don't see the point. Yes. Never mind. Good luck. Good luck. Maybe we should inspect for a little secret switch or something here. No? No. Alright. Can't go back there without permission. She's here. I can fix this now. Oh! Uh, I think that was supposed to happen. Take it. Inspect it. This key doesn't look like it should go in any of the normal doors of the hotel. It goes in the locker she had upstairs? Maybe it is Rosalita. Is that- that's not the- he was in the circus! Something's- Ugh! Jeez! Uh... Cool. Inspect. Can't believe Rosalita hasn't had the door changed. Why does the music change all of a sudden? A door. Use the key. Oh, fuck off. Don't scare me like this, please. Rosalita- Uh-oh. This is creepy as all hell. This is getting scary. Inspect. Looks like someone broke into this case. The plaque says that there should be three pins. I should find the third. Hmm. I saw- I once saw a lion do a handstand on one of these. His name was Leo the Dexterous. These are some big shoes. Only one person in this hotel could fit in these. Don't fucking jump scare me, please, God! Flower of the Big Top. Why does that sound familiar? Oh, Chapito? Is... Oh, is Chapito Big Top? Chapeau is hat. Come laugh your butts off. So I see Rosalita. I see the dude. I don't see his wife. They're clowns. What is this? The Cirque Tribute? Tragedy Strikes on Noble Lake? Romania! I knew it, vampires. Romania beloved clown Lily Spadule. The mother. Uh, something of the flower of the big top died last night. The cops authorities took the troops leader Terrence Crisp. Terry Crisp. Into custody for manslaughter. Pressure. Uh, Lily Spadule's husband, Walt Spadule. Another declined to comment on Terry Crisp's something. Walt Spadule said in a short address to the, to the blah blah to focus on caring for our two-year-old son. 
Terence Crisp is taken away in handcuffs. My parents told me about this. Apparently it was all over the news. The clown died in a tragic accident, and a member of the troop was blamed. Terry Crisp is the dude upstairs? A clown knows! Out of everything in this room, why is it that the clown nose freaks me out the most? Mini cannon! Why is there a cannon down here? And since there's a small cannon at that. Oh man. That's a pretty head shaped dent. Are those handcuffs as well? Don't jump! What? There's another door. Hold on, hold on. I gotta keep inspecting. Okay. Are these the clowns from the incident in 81? Wait, is that Rosalita? And behind her, that's Walt! The plot thickens. Clown nose. Clown shoes. Ask Walt about this collection. Secret door! Jesus Christ! Uh... Hey! I was just... I was just... Oh, what do we have here? Ah! I knew it was you. You better start talking fast. I don't mean to intimidate you here, but you aren't exactly intimidating. Why were you in there? Investigating. In where? I was lost. You're choking. That has to be the worst lie I've ever heard, and I've been lied to by a mime. Now why were you in there? Investigating. What's with the clown stuff? A past I wish I for- A past I wish- A past I wish to forget. We will- We will move on from this topic at once. Hmm. Please explain. Or I'll assume the worst. We all have skeletons in our closet. I won't tell anyone. Promise. Oh yes, I believe that. Listen here, I will explain it to you for the sake of this case, but never tell anyone. Yes, in the past I was a clown. Some say I still am, but they usually get kicked out. One day, an accident happened. I'd rather not discuss it much, but it took me out of the business. Regardless, the fact that my clown tools were used in this murder is most troubling. It's as though someone wishes to frame me. Wait, say that again. Right. The murder is most troubling. No, the part after that. I don't recall saying anything after that. The part about be you being framed. I don't see the point. Ah, of course. Why didn't you say so? We'll see you know from before. Go on. I must confess that Rosalita was involved in my past, but she couldn't have done this. Are you sure? Yes. I don't know anymore. But why would she choose now when we've had our first real customer in so long? Well, thank you. I'll go figure this out. Mm. Very well, good luck. Remember... Ask everyone about the clown past. Huh? Ah! Will it open again? Open. Secret passages and all that's whatnot. Hey, wh whoa, my God, you're so tall. I don't see the point. What is your progress on the case? Working on all it. Right. Oh, well, good luck, small person. Good luck, and uh, make sure none of my other guests are murdered. I won't. So There's a chandelier. There's a point at down there. All right, my voice is really hurting. Oh, wait. Tell me about your family. Yes. What? How the hell did that happen? Oh, my head. What the frig? What's going on? Just look at the picture of I had to ask other people. Ooh. That's spin. I guess I'll help you. Oh jeez, where is it? I'll be back with it. I know what it is. I'll be back with it. What happened? Yes, I'll be here dying. Okay. 
That's it. Here. Please. Here you go. Thank you for saving my life. You saved my Stop life. Quickly. I think you've earned a milkshake free of charge. A milkshake? What just happened here? He jumped us when you walked in. He's probably making his escape now. Who? Right. Terry! It was Terry the whole time. I didn't recognize him after all these years. Why did he do this? Yes. I can explain after all this, but the shorthand story is that he's the reason my wife is dead. Did he well, escape? Quick! You weren't out for long. We can still catch him if you pull the chandelier. A chandelier? That drops on command? Sounds like a waste of money. Obviously it was a worthwhile purchase. If it pays off now... Now hurry! Goodbye. Oh my aching! Sure Ouch! Alright. Can we get out of here? Oh, we can't leave. We should do it. Oh, he's gone crazy. Why is she going crazy? Alright, and she's... I mean, you could shoot him. Well, let's just do this. Bam! Get wrecked. Kia! Did I get him? I got him. Got him good. Alright, let's get down there. Hey. Good job getting him. I moved the bookcase out of the way. Thanks. Time to go arrest him. Yes. I just can't believe it was him after all these years. I mean, he was pretty shifty from the start. All right. Oh, and thanks again. I owe you my life. Apparently it's only a worth a milkshake. I don't see the That's already pushing it. Goodbye. And remember, milkshakes are only ten dollars. Nah. Hey. Thanks for the heads up. Way ahead of you. Can't go that way. Did it. Nice thinking, kid. Haven't seen a chandelier drop that spectacular in a while. First time someone survived one, too. Thanks, I didn't think I'd get him in time. Well, you almost didn't. Good thing your friend is so good at screening. Yeah, I don't know where that came from. Alright, enough talk. You've got a perp to arrest. Right. I guess I skipped some stuff, because you're back, and she's here. You hear that? What happened in there? We caught the perp! Really? Who was it? It was Harry. But he seems so stupid. How is he the mastermind? I wouldn't call him a mastermind. Yeah. Well, whatever. Good job, kid. Good Thanks. Luck. Hey, I just fixed things for you! Oh, Eddie. What happened? Dad never lets the chandelier drop. I dropped the chandelier on Terry. He was the murderer. Okay. Oh, okay. That's nice. I hate you Wait, so would much. You, uh, never mind. Go. Away. Wait, what's this? What on earth? Why does Terry have a picture of Rosalita? Oh no. The plot thickens. Why'd you done it? Why'd you done it? Hey. Uh... Whoa, did you see that? I totally blocked him. Good thinking with the chandelier. Classic. Man, I love my job. For once, he actually did something. Good job. What? What's this for once stuff? Whatever. I'll chew you out later, rookie. Now cuff him. Get the clues. You. Why'd you done it? <laughs> Gah. Oh. Why didn't you just tase me instead? Why didn't you just tase me instead? I'd love to, but. We are kinda under equipped. Why'd you do it? Right to the point, huh? He deserved what he got coming to him. And Walt did too. Why though? What did Walt do? You killed Walt. Why though? Yeah. He ruined me! Could have had a great career in the clown biz. But he just went and soiled our big show. How? I was in the clown biz with Walton Rosa. We tried out a trick we'd never done before to impress that blasted critic. 
and it went wrong. Walt's wife died. But it was an honest accident. We were sent to clown court and Walt hung me dry. Didn't even back me up. Poor Rosa. She hasn't spoken since that day. How did she die? You think I like remembering that? She was a good friend and didn't deserve what happened to her. But it wasn't my fault. Then why were you blamed? I was the leader. That's why. I made the call to do the trick. But it was in our bestest interest. Best interest. We had to impress that critic to make it big. This sounds awfully suspicious. It sounds like your fault. Well, I can guarantee that the body out there was my fault. And I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for you and your line backer friend. No, really. They should consider football. Like, I couldn't see an opening. Terry Crisp, you are under arrest. Or you will be when the, I call the cops. <laughs> eh, I spent 15 years in clown jail already. What's a few more? Cuff him. Talk to Penny and close the case. You're under arrest, Terry Crisp. Heh, <laughs> here to rub it in, kid. Got me. Let's just leave it at that. I don't regret anything. You will regret it. Go on. Oh, a day's work, am I right? Penny did nothing. That was obvious. Psh! I knew it was him the whole time. You could see it in his eyes. Sure he did. Well done. Uh-huh. And we're off. Penny Blue the Clue finds a clue. Oh my goodness. Cactus Curse Games. That is a lot of people. What'd y'all think? I was impressed. This is a large game. They had voice acting, 3D rendering, eventing. Hey, not bad. Not bad at all. Le Fleur de Chapiteau. Chateau, Chapeau, Chapiteau. Le Fleur de Chapiteau. Anyway, <laughs> other than me having to go and relearn my French, what'd y'all think of the game? Again, I'm impressed by the Japan students. Oh, there were a few bugs, but nothing that couldn't be worked around. The only thing that I noticed that was kind of out of place was the fact that I could get the milkshake again, give him a second milkshake, and then I got the bottle. And then I couldn't progress any further, so I just restarted and then I was able to get past that. Impressive. A long game too. You gave me an hour's worth of game? Not bad. So, thank you everybody. Thank you for watching. I'll be back again with some more mystery, indie mystery goodness. Now, I'll see y'all next time. And until then, keep your noses clean. This sounds a little cringy, but I'm gonna go with it.